Hello everyone, so my name's Rebecca and today I'm going to be sharing my top 10 tips for YouTube. I am no expert by any means but there are just some things that I've picked up along the way from doing my own YouTube channel that I thought might be helpful for you. Number one, be consistent. Decide how often you want to post videos. It may be that you decide you're going to put videos up on certain days of the week or you're just going to do a couple of videos per week. Try not to have big gaps in your videos. There's nothing worse than finding somebody's video that you really like and then you go and check out their channel and they've not put a video up for the last two or three months. You just think maybe they're not doing it anymore and you don't bother subscribing. Try not to have big gaps. Everybody has busy times in their life. If you know there's something coming up that you, means you're going to struggle to get videos up, try and film some in advance and schedule those to go up during that period. Number two, reply to comments. It's really hard to reply to every comment, especially as your channel grows and you get more and more of them. But try and reply to as many as you can. It goes a long way in building a community within your channel and people leave comments because they feel like they're going to get a reply to them and that their comments are being read and they're being listened to. So as much as possible try and reply to comments. Number three, make sure you're interested in what you're filming about. I used to have a, another channel years ago and I just didn't have the interest in it, I was just doing the videos for the sake of it. Find a topic that you really love filming about. You have to put so many hours into filming and editing before it starts to pay off with subscribers etc. So make sure you're really interested in the videos, it'll make it more fun for you and it'll really come across on screen. Number four, make sure your videos are well edited. Try and get them to run smoothly and look professional, it goes a long way in drawing in viewers. You don't need fancy software, I, for the majority of my videos I just use Windows Movie Maker that came free on my laptop but work out how to use it properly. Use transitions between clips so that they run smoothly and blend into one another and aren't jumpy. And there are many tutorials on YouTube, you can Google it to find out how to use your software. Number five, promote yourself. There are so many people doing YouTube videos that it'll take a long time for people to notice you. So you need to tell people that your videos are there. Sign up to all social media, get on Twitter, get on Facebook, get on Instagram, Pinterest, everything that there is, get on it and tell everybody when you put videos up on all of those things the more places you share your video the more likely it is that you're going to get noticed. Number six, have some variety in your videos. Most people stick to a given niche, maybe it's they do day in the life vlogs, maybe they do cooking videos or craft videos. It's good to have a sort of unique selling point, what your channel is about. But it's also good to have some variety in your videos. It keeps subscribers interested, it draws in new subscribers and it means that your channel appeals to a wider audience so therefore your subscribers are going to grow. Number seven, make eye-catching thumbnails. YouTube gives you three thumbnail options and then usually if you put in a weird face at, the, at certain given points during your video and they're never flattering. So either take a photo or take a snapshot from your video and then use something like PicMonkey which is what I tend to use and create a thumbnail. Um, the dimensions for YouTube are 1280 by 720 if you want to do a thumbnail that's not got black borders and try and get some words on there and then when your video appears at the side of somebody else's video it's going to stand out from everybody else's. Number eight, be part of the community. There is a community within YouTube and lots of people do videos um, and there are lots of linkies about and Facebook groups and things like that, tag videos. Try and get involved, be a part of the community and then you all get to know each other, you get mentioned in other people's videos and people who watch that person's videos will come and check your channel out and that's other ways to get your videos noticed and to bring in more subscribers. Number nine, don't be put off by negativity. I remember the very first time I got a dislike on a video and I was so upset, I spent that whole night analysing what could possibly be wrong with my video that I've got a dislike on it. And you can drive yourself crazy thinking about it it's not obligatory to give a reason for a dislike, so you'll never work the reason out. So I think the sooner you can turn it into a positive thing and view it as a positive thing, the less it will bother you. I found that as my subscribers were growing and my channel was becoming more popular, I got more dislikes. So see it is a good thing, it just means that your channel's getting more popular and it's being viewed by a wider, bigger audience. And number 10, probably one of the most important tips, is to be yourself. 
obviously your content and the quality of your videos goes a long way in people deciding whether to subscribe to you or not but it's also because of you people connect with you people relate to you and want to feel some connection with you and it's you that they're subscribing to so just be yourself it's hard to put on an act for a long period of time so be yourself people are warm to you and people will subscribe because of you so those are my top 10 tips i hope you found them useful they've certainly worked for me so if you haven't already, please subscribe to Tots 100 and feel free to also come and check out my channel which is Percy and Grace and subscribe over there too. Thank you all for watching. Bye!